So the indications for uh, the surgical procedures are persistent vertigo spells, uh, pressure and hearing loss uh, without the vertigo, three months of treatment, uh, unilateral disease, one ear, uh, serviceable hearing in the opposite ear, and minimal unsteadiness. So uh, I'll talk a little bit about gentamicin. So if you have a lot of vertigo attacks, we may give you, we will give you gentamicin, and we can put this on the microwave, or we can inject it into the ear. And this kills the part of the vestibular system, the balance system, and it stops the attacks. Um, so it's an office procedure, and uh, we do it under local anesthesia. We use a laser, we use a little endoscope to look inside the ear. Um, and I'll show you this little picture here. This is the uh, microwick uh, that allows the fluid or medicines that you put in your ear canal to go down into the inner ear here. So this is the inner ear fluids right here. If you put drops in the ear canal, they'll just stop at the eardrum if you don't have a way to get it inside. So I developed this uh, wick that absorbs the medication and takes it down into the uh, inner ear. This is the round window, which is like the cornea of the eye. And the medication diffuses across the membrane and it goes into the inner ear. So the goal of the treatment uh, when you're using genomycin is to kill about 75% of the cells and preserve the patient's hearing. The complications are uh, pretty infrequent. Uh, the perforations are rare, but if we, if we do have a little hole after we take it out, then we uh, fix it with a little piece of fat from the earlobe, and we do that in the office also. Uh, occasionally, the ear is resistant to the genomycin, and you have uh, recurrent attacks uh, continuing, and you have to do something more.